Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and will be glad in it. God is for us and God is our Father. Just to come in with thanksgiving. Let's just begin to thank Him. Let's thank Him for the day of another day. Let's thank Him that we are here again. Lord, we just bless you. Father, we just thank you this morning, O Lord Jehovah. We lift you up and we glorify your name. We declare that there is none like you. And Lord Jesus Christ, we just come in with thanksgiving this morning. Father, you are worthy. Lord, you are mighty. Thank you, God Almighty, for waking up this morning. There is no one, there is no one that compares to you. Oh, Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise this morning. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness and your mercy. Thank you, God, because your hand is upon our lives to do us good. Oh, Lord, we just lift you up this morning. We worship you, God. We say there's none like unto you, God Almighty. There is no one, there is no one that compares to you. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name. We say you're a good, good God. You're a good father. Thank you because there's nothing too difficult for you. Thank you because you are the God of all flesh. We give you praise this morning. We come in with adoration. Oh, thank you. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Have your way in the lives of our children, oh God. Father, let every child that is represented here this morning, oh God Almighty, be all that you have created them to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. We give you all the praise and all the adoration. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, please unmute yourself and let's just give him praise together. Could I we find? Father, we thank you. Well, yeah. We just thank you, God. One more time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. As we come in this morning, praising the name of the Lord, declaring that our God is mighty. I want us to be focused on who who God is. The Bible says he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible says there's nothing that is difficult for our God to do. And the Bible says our God is mindful of us. So I want us to come in this morning and, and just bless his holy name and bless him and say, yes, we serve a mighty God. The Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy and there are pleasures forevermore. So when we unmute ourselves, I want us to just just bless his name from a place of confidence this morning, saying, I know that God is for me and I know God is more than able. Before we commit anything to his hands this morning, I want us to remind us of his, remind ourselves of his power, remind ourselves of his faithfulness, remind ourselves of the fact that we belong to him. Let's remind ourselves of the fact that he has promised never to leave us, nor to forsake us. So I want us to just go in with that assurance of faith that God hears us when we call. Father Lord, we just thank you. Unmute yourself. Let's praise him together if you want to do God, we Father, just Lord, Jehovah, we just come and honor Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 Father, 
shall be more maturation unto you. We do have the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, we stay Say thank you, Father. Say thank you, Father. We thank you for your mercy and you every morning. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to declare over our children this morning. We're going to declare the word of God over them. And um, as we all know, yes, this is called creative words. And what we do is that we take the word of God and we begin to declare it over our children. Um, the Bible says the word of God is settled in heaven. The Bible says God and his word are one. The Bible says his word cannot fall to the ground. The Bible says God's words cannot return to him without, accomplish, without accomplishing that which the Lord sent it out to do. The word of God is full of power. So this morning i want us to go to psalm 27 and that's where we're going to start from and this is for our children so i want you to declare this over your children and i want you to open your own mouth and say this is what will be seen in the life of my children born or yet unborn psalm 27 verse 4 it says one thing i have desired of the lord that will i seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to inquire in his temple we're going to say lord god almighty this morning we ask you in the name of jesus christ that you give our children one desire one desire above all the others, above all else, and that they may seek your face, that they may dwell in your house all the days of their lives, and that they may behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. I want you to take your children today and take them back to the altar. It doesn't matter where they may be physically. This morning, take your children, take them back to the altar of God and say, Lord, I have come to tie my children to the altar. I was talking to someone on on Saturday, and the person was telling me how their mother said when she went off as, as a young woman, their, their mom, and her mom said, I have tied all my children to the altar, and no child of mine will be lost. And she said she came back to the Lord, and that's what she's doing for her children. This morning, I want us to say, yes, one thing our, that our children will desire. And that is one thing they will seek after in Jesus' name. Above every other thing, they will seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto them. This morning, take your children and tie them to the altar of God to say, this ones cannot be lost. Father, we come in this morning in the name of Jesus Christ and we bring all our children one by one. We bring them by the power of the Holy Ghost and we say, Lord God Almighty, not one of them will be lost in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God, there are utmost desire, O oh God. The utmost desire they will have is to, is to seek your face, O oh God. Each one of them, every child that is represented here this morning, Lord, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. We say their utmost desire will be to seek your God, to seek in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to seek your face, O oh God Almighty, to seek your heart, O oh God. You will be lifted up in their hearts, you will be lifted up in their minds, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want Want us to cry out to the Lord and say nothing snatches our children away from him. Nothing can take our children away from him in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's any child that has gone off, I want you to drag that child, drag that child in your mind today and tie that child to the altar of God to say you cannot go. You cannot go anywhere. You cannot go away from from Jesus Christ. I want you to unmute yourself and let's cry out together to say our children will seek the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm <laughs> 
so you know the mighty and all thy time my children time my children everlasting Father what desire that they will serve you for what the days of thy kingdom Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. All our children will serve the Lord. All of them will desire the Lord. All of them will know the Lord. As we have tied them to the altar this morning, we are going to go on and read the next verse. The next verse is um, verse 5 of Psalm 27. It says, when the time of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. I want us to cry and say, Lord God Almighty, hide our children in the time of trouble. If there's any child that is already in trouble, as we are praying this morning, I want you to go to war and say, Lord God Almighty, today is the day of deliverance for this child. This child is coming back to the altar of righteousness and you will hide this child from trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. God will hide all our children from trouble in Jesus' name. It says he shall hide them in his path in the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide them, he shall set them high upon a rock. This is the portion of our children. I want you to begin to cry out and say, Lord, hide my children. Lord God Almighty, hide my children, oh God. For those who are in trouble, bring them out of trouble, oh God Almighty. Father, surround them with songs of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bring all our children to you, oh God. Lord God Almighty, hide my children, oh God, hide my children, hide them from trouble, oh God Almighty, hide them from the plots of man, hide them from the plots of Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, we destroy everything that is not of you, in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, reka shake it up, go so cold, reka ta ba 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 ba. Man, the reka bo so cold, reka ta ba 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 Father, I Father, <laughs> 
Father, your word says that you will hide them and set them high upon a rock. Father, set our children high upon a rock, O God Almighty. Set them up, O God Almighty where the hands of the enemy cannot touch them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we come in this morning and we lift up the shield of faith over our children this morning. We quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, all the missile of the enemy against their lives, against their minds, against their destinies. We quench them by the, by the shield of faith this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we cover our children, oh God, with the shield of faith this morning. Father, Lord God Almighty, we ask, oh God, that you cover them from above. We ask, oh God Almighty, that you surround them on every side. We ask, oh God Almighty, that you lead them, oh God, by your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Raka Zokoto, begin to cry for your children. I want us to cry out that the Lord will cover them from above, that the Lord will surround them on every side with songs of deliverance, that the Lord himself will be their covering in the name of Jesus Christ and the name of the Lord God Almighty will be their defense in the name of Jesus Christ. Mando roko zoko todi ya baba baba ba regelebo zoto di ya baba baba ba regelebo zoko roko zoko to regala baka zekete baka jekete regelebo zoko di kata baka zekata baka jekete engelebo zoko roko zoko to makata baka zekete mando roko zoko roko zoko to baba 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 ba reka shegete boko zoko rikata thank you Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And then the same Psalm 27 verse 6 now says, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. We are going to ask the Lord to lift up our children, to lift up their heads above any and every kind of enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are praying this morning, I want us to confront the spirit of death and destruction. Children are saying they want to kill themselves. They will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. We, we lift, God will lift up their head above the voice of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rather than hearing the words of death and the words of confusion that comes from the pits of hell, they will offer sacrifices of joy in God's tabernacle in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children will be praise singers in the name of Jesus Christ. They will praise their God. They will sing praises to the most high God and it will be well with all of them in Jesus' name. Father, Lord God Almighty, we bring our children, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you lift up my children's heads above any and every kind of enemy, oh God. Father, Lord, we come against the, the voice of death and destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, every tongue that has risen up against them, we condemn this morning, oh God. Father, Lord, every lying spirit that has taken hold of their hearts in any area, oh God. Father, today they are breaking free by the power of the Holy Ghost and their heads are being lifted up high above all the enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, we come against the spirit of hell and destruction this morning and we declare, oh God Almighty, that our children shall be taught of the Lord and grace shall be the peace of our children. We stand on your word that says we will not bring forth for trouble. And Lord, we declare this morning that there's no child here this morning that has been brought forth for trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, 
pray, pray, oh God, that you will fill them completely, oh God, and leave no room for any other thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we know you. We know that there's nothing difficult for you. We know, oh God Almighty, that there's nothing that you cannot do. You are the creator of the heavens and earth. So we bring our children in faith this morning. We declare that nothing will separate them from the love of Christ. I want you to cry out to God and say, let nothing separate my children from the love of God. Nothing will separate my children from the love of God. Father, Lord God Almighty, it doesn't matter where they are. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter how much they know you or how much they do not know you. We say, Lord God Almighty, all of them will be drawn by your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ, those who already know your God will know you more. Those who do not know your God will get to know your God. Father, draw them, oh God. Lift up their heads, my Father. Draw them by your mighty hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will separate my children from the, from the love of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing, nothing, nothing will separate our children from the love of Christ. It doesn't matter what the enemy throws at them. We declare this morning that there will be more than conquerors in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're going to look at um, Romans 8.37, I've read um, part of it already. I've read 35, that nothing will separate our children from the love of God. But now I want us to look at Romans 8.37, and I'm reading it from the NLT. It says, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. I want us to cry out and say, Lord, despite anything that our children may be going through, it doesn't matter what it is. We're saying overwhelming victory is theirs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to cry out and say nothing, nothing at all separates them from the love of Christ. Nothing will hinder the manifestation of the power of God in their lives. And I want us to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, cause our children to be victorious. Cause them to ride on the wings of victory all the time. The Bible says, blessed be God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus Christ. I want us to lift up the name of God over every attack of the enemy and declare that our children are more than conquerors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to unmute and let's press in together. That the, uh, and Christ, in jesus name we have prayed i want you to lift up your own children to the lord and say lord god almighty infuse them oh god almighty with the power of heaven infuse them with hope in the name of jesus christ so i'm going to read romans 15 13 to us romans 15 13 i'm still reading from the nlt it says i pray that god the source of hope our children will not be hopeless in jesus name i want us to come against the scourge of hopelessness that is what drives children to the point where they'll say, let me end it all. And maybe you're a parent and you're, all, you're also feeling like that this morning. I'm glad that you came because the God of hope will fill you with hope in Jesus' name. It says, I pray that God, the source of hope, 
will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. I want you to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, fill my children completely. Leave no room for any other thing. Fill them up. I need someone to say, you can have my children, oh God. You can use them for your glory. You can fill them up with your nature. You can fill them up with your own ideas, oh God. You can fill them up with your kind of faith, Jehovah. It says, I pray that God, the source of hope, let's begin to declare it, that God will fill our children completely with joy and peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and our children will trust in him, and they will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you, God. Father, this morning, we come in the name of Jesus Christ and we ask, for oh God Almighty, that you fill our children completely with joy and peace because we, they, we because we trust in you and you will cause them to trust in you, oh God Almighty. Then they will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we declare this, oh God. Father, we've come to place our children in your able hands this morning. We bring them, O oh God. We bring them, O oh God, to, uh, to you, our God, the living God. Teach them your ways, O oh God Almighty. Father, Lord, speak your word to them, O oh God. Fill them, O oh God Almighty. Fill them completely, O oh God Almighty. Mighty, with, with joy and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fill my children with joy and peace, O God. Fill them with divine wisdom, O God Almighty. Give them understanding, O God. Fill my children, O oh God Almighty, with the power of the Holy Ghost. Maraka Sokoroko Zokoto. You have said you'll have mercy on whoever you'll have mercy. You'll have compassion on whoever you'll have compassion, O oh God. Father, Lord, have mercy on my children, O oh God. Have mercy on all our children, Jehovah. Reka Sekete Boko Zokoto di Yaba Baba. Rekelebo Sokoroko Zokoroko Zekete. Rega Shagata Baka Zekete. Mando Roko Zokoto di Yaba Baba Baba Baba. Reke Zekete. Father, your word says in your hand is the life of every living creature. So, Lord God Almighty, in your hand, Jehovah, are the lives of our children. Lord, we are asking, oh God, that you fill them completely, oh God, with joy and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, be with them, O God. Father, Lord God Almighty, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to come against sickness this morning. We are going to come against any and every kind of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to declare that God himself is their healer. God is their physician. The Bible says God is for us. And if God is for us, who can be against us? And what, this morning I want you to also say, what can be against us? I'm going to take us to Isaiah 33. <clears throat> And I want to read from verse 24. It says, and the inhabitant will not say, I am sick. 
the people who dwell in it will be forgiven their iniquity. So our children will not say they're sick. We, we have taken them to the altar. And those who dwell there, those who dwell on the altar of the Lord, will not say I am sick in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will receive forgiveness and mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. And you know, it doesn't matter what kind of sickness. It doesn't matter what, what has gone wrong. We are saying today, oh God Almighty, this one's they, they will be filled completely with the spirit of joy and peace. They will have peace in their bodies, peace in their minds, peace in their in their aspirations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will not think evil thoughts. They will not aspire to do evil things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to take them to the Lord and say, Jehovah, cause this ones to overflow with your spirit. Send the Holy Spirit upon them afresh. The spirit of truth. The world may not know the Holy Spirit. Our children will know the Holy Spirit. They will know him as their comforter. They will know him as their strengthener. They will know him as their way maker, their advocate in the name of Jesus Christ. They will understand the friendship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And their words will be directed from heaven. So they will not say, I am sick. No sick bodies, no sick minds, no sick destinies, no sick desires. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of no sick careers, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no sick academics. We're saying, Lord God Almighty, we'll just come against sickness and disease because that's what Jesus took away. So I want us to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, as we've brought them to the altar, none none will say, I am sick. They will not agree with sickness and disease. Let's cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, wholeness, nothing missing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we bring our children to you this morning, oh God. Father, Lord, we declare boldly that their portion is wholeness, nothing missing. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing polluted, nothing contaminated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we pray this morning, oh God, we bring every contaminated desire before you. And we say, Lord, begin to wash our children clean. Begin to wash them clean, oh God. We come against the pollution of the enemy this morning over the lives of our children. We say, Lord God Almighty, and they, 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 they. their lives are hid in you, therefore they are on the highway of holiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Regele boko shegete boko zokoto, ragada baba baba baba, mando roko zoko roko zokoto, regele boko shegete baka zakata, de 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 de, raka shegele boko zoko roko zokoto, raka shegele boko zoko roko zokoto, mando de 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 de, raka shegete boko zokoto, mando de 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 de, raka Zoko roko zoko to baka zakata. Ege de 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 de. Raka shege te boko zoko to liyandi. Ege de 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 de. Lord God Almighty, ma shaka tabaka zeke le boko zoko to. Ma ande de 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 de. Raka shege te boko zoko to liyandi. Ege de 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 de. Raka shege le bo zoko rikata ba 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 ba. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah thirty-five. Isaiah 35, verse 5, it says, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For water shall burst forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we're going to cry out to God this morning. We're going to say, Lord God Almighty, take away blindness from our children. Take away lameness. There are some children represented here this morning. Maybe their marital destiny has become lame. Maybe things are being delayed. Maybe their, maybe their body has been made lame by sickness or disease. We are saying, Lord God Almighty, take away lameness, oh God. Take, whether the lameness is physical, whether it's spiritual, whichever way, whether it's, it's, it's in their minds, whatever. If the enemy has, has crippled them in their minds, if all they can think of is how they will end their lives or how they will do evil or how they're just not good enough, whatever lies, you know, 
every lie that, that leads to the place of depression we're coming against this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. And we're saying our children will be lifted up and they'll be set on, on, on their high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord himself will set their foot on their high places in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want us to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, take away blindness and lameness in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are praying that, I want us to look at verse 8 of the same Isaiah 35. It says, a highway shall be there and a road. That's, that's what it says. A highway shall be there and a road and, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. We are calling all our children back. We say even the one that, that is seemingly foolish, because God is with them, they will not be lost in Jesus' name. And I said seemingly because no child is foolish, because we are praying down the Spirit of God upon them. So we are going to cry and say, Lord God, set our children on the highway of holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to cry and say, Lord, no blindness, no, lame, no, no lameness, no limitation from the pits of hell in Jesus' name, no hindrance. We are saying, Jehovah, set our children free, oh God. Set them free to serve you. This is the word of the Lord. Let's begin to declare it over our children. Oh, reka soko roko jegete. Mande de 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 de. Raka shegele boko zoko roko zoko to. Father, we declare boldly this morning. We say no blindness, no lameness. Raka shegele boko zoko roko zoko to. We bring children who be made lame in their minds, in their hearts by all sorts of suggestions from the pits of hell. And we say, Lord, today, right now, is the day of deliverance. Oh, God. This is the day you set them free. This is the day you set them on high. This is the day you open your word up to them. This is the day you reveal yourself to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, we bring their lives to you, O oh God. We bring their marital destiny. We bring everything about them, O oh God. We bring their academics, O oh God. We bring their bodies. We bring their organs, O oh God. We bring their friendships, O oh God. We bring everything, every single thing that concerns them, O oh God. Man, de, 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 de. We say no blindness in the name of Jesus Christ. The king of this world will not blind the hearts of our children. The king of this world will not blind their minds in the name of Jesus Christ. The king of this world will not, will not cast blindness on their path in the name of Jesus Christ. Because this morning we we'll lift them up, oh God. We we'll lift them up to you, oh God. And we say, make them sit together with Christ in high places, far above all principalities and powers, far above all the plots of men, far above all and every evil plot. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set every single child that is represented here this morning on the highway of holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Mando roko zoko rikata ba 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 ba. Engele boko zoko roko zoko to. Regele boko zoko rikata ba 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 ba. Reka shegete boko zoko roko zoko to. Raka shegete boko zoko to. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. This morning, I want us to reestablish the perfect will of God concerning our children. So we are going to go to Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter one, verse five. Here, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. And I ordained you a prophet to the nations. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, before you were born, I sanctified you. This morning, I want us to unmute and cry out and say, Lord, the things that you decided before they were born, 
Father, establish them by your power. Let's cry. we have prayed as we are praying about the things that were ordained before they they were formed in the womb i want you to look into the life of your children and whatever you think God couldn't have put in there. Because the Bible says in the beginning, it was not so. Because the Bible tells us in Genesis that when God finished creating everything, God saw everything that he created and he called them good. So whatever God will not call good, I'm not talking about things that we've agreed to manage and we're also now beginning to call them good. Uh, there's the world standard and there's God's standard. By God's standard, when he looked at everything, called everything good. So I don't want us to settle for the world standard over our children. To so say, it's okay, that's not so bad. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We are saying, as the Lord, as the Lord himself ordained before they were created, the things that God preordained, as the Lord himself wanted it from the, big, from the foundations of the earth, so shall it be in the lives of our children. So I want you to look into the life of your children, look into the lives of your children and say, God, this cannot be you. And even, you know, all those lies that we've believed, though, yes, that, um, yes, this one happened before they were born or it happened in the womb. No, it says before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. I knew you. So things can happen during birth, things that happen in the womb, things can happen by the explanation of men, you know, and by the Bible says in First, um, first Timothy 6.20. Let me go there quickly because I want to read that to us. <clears throat> and I want us to look at the KJV version so that we can fight this morning and understand that the things that God has prepared for us, they are truly beyond what any man can fathom unless the Holy Spirit opens up those things to us. So just a second. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, the KJV. It says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so-called. There's so many things that have been proven by science now. So many things that you say, oh, yes, we can prove it. We can, no, we're we are not settling for that. Even this issue of homosexuality and all that, they're saying, no, some people were born like that. We are saying no to those things. We are saying no. And there's some there's some diseases that you say, no, they were born like that. No, they were born. No. How were they formed? I'm not talking about how they were born. How were they formed? How were they formed? Not how they were born. So I want us to unmute and cry and say, Lord God Almighty, nothing that is not of you will be found in our children.
Don't settle for less. Let's Je <laughs> <laughs> Prayed. Amen. You know, this morning I want us to really cry out and say, Lord, not how they were born, but how they were formed. Not how they have been, but how they should be. Not how they are going to be, but how you want them to be. We are saying, Lord, not the things that have happened in the past, not the things that are going on now, not the things that will happen in the future will take our children away from you. Because the Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it says, I formed you in your mother's womb, you know. I, I, I knew you before you were formed. So I'm, I've, be, I've been part of your life. I've been there. God has always been there. So I want us to take our children to the Lord. And this morning, I want us to confront boldly the things that the enemy has planted in their lives. So I want us to go to Matthew 13. Let's go to Matthew 13. And remember, we started by reading Jeremiah 32, 17. We said he's the God of all flesh and there's nothing too hard for him. And you know, as we're praying this morning, we're we are going to stand and say, Lord God Almighty, you formed every child for a purpose and nothing, nothing at all will thwart your purpose for their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So <clears throat> Matthew 13, I'm going to read this parable quickly. It says, another parable we put forth to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Now, slumber can, can happen during pregnancy, after pregnancy. It can happen during the time of, of, of parenting them when they were young. Slumber can happen at any stage. And the enemy is wicked and is watching. And you know, he's very diligent about his evil things. And he will be very, very diligent to sow evil seeds. So he says, while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tears also appeared. So uh, let, let me jump quickly. So the servants of the owner came and said to, to him, sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tears? Then he said, an enemy has done this. The servant said to him, do you want us then to go and gather them? He says, no, let them both go until the harvest. And, 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 um, and at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, first gather the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now the reapers are angels. Those servants couldn't have done it by themselves. They were going to tear out some of the wheat as well. And so this morning, I want us to ask for angelic assistance and say everything mm. that God has not put in our children, the things that have manifested, the things that are yet to manifest, we are saying, Lord, let the reaper angels go and not put every tear, everything, every wheat 
everything that God has not planted in the lives of our children. I want us to cry out and say, God Almighty, just uproot everything that is not of you. Let your hand be upon our children today. Let the angels come today, today. We are saying today, for those who have been taken into the camp of the enemy, we are saying, Lord God Almighty, send the fishermen of heaven, send the hunters of heaven, let them hunt for them and bring them back. Let the fishermen of heaven fish them and bring them back. We are saying, Lord God Almighty, every virtue that has been removed from our children's lives, whether we can see it or not, we are saying, Lord, let everything be returned in Jesus' name. Every good that has been tampered with, we are saying, Jehovah, let there be restoration today. I want you to cast this prayer like a net over the lives of your children and say everything that the enemy has planted. And sometimes we are the enemies who plant these things. We plant things in the lives of our children unconsciously. We teach them to do things that are not right. And then when, when the harvest comes, we're wondering, whoa, what happened? Every unrighteousness that we do is a seed. And it will go into a tree of unrighteousness. So sometimes we are also the enemies who have planted in the lives of our children. If that's the case and you're thinking, oh, I can see that I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that. And you can see many areas where you are falling short. This morning is not a game of condemnation. It's that of restoration. It's for us to cry and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Help us, oh God. Help us. Because, you know, there, there are evil seeds that we have planted. We'll tell the child, oh, tell, 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 tell them I'm not here. And then later, when, when the child has gone and the child is just a pathological liar, we're thinking, oh, how did it happen? Somebody planted a sin. An enemy has done this. I want us to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And as we're saying that, we're saying, Lord God Almighty, by your power, we confront the enemy of, of our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We confront every evil seed, every evil idea, every evil mindset, every evil desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the hand of the Lord has not planted in the lives of our children. Sometimes the evil seed is delay. It's confusion. It just manifests in different forms. It doesn't matter what it is. You know what is plaguing your children and maybe there's nothing plaguing them yet. All we are saying is that nothing will plague them in future in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will plague them. There's hope in their future. There's joy in their future because God will fill them with joy and peace. Open your mouth and begin to declare it over your children. Father, Lord God Almighty, everything that that you have not planted, we destroyed this body, oh God. We came against all the works of Satan. Unmute yourself. Let's pray together if you want to do that. Jesus, 
name we have prayed i want us to still pray and say lord god almighty let your hand sift their destiny today, O oh God. Everything that you have not planted in their lives, Father Lord, send your angels to root them out and to destroy. And, and even with the word of God in our own mouths this morning, I want us to begin to uproot everything that God has not planted in the lives of our children. You know what is plaguing your children. This is not the time to keep quiet. Whatever the problem may be. And you know, if there's nothing wrong, we are saying nothing would go wrong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I want us to cry out and say, Lord God Almighty, everything that is not of you is destroyed today. Known and unknown, whether it has manifested or not, we destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. If it's still waiting to happen, we say it will not happen. If it has happened, we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray and say only the things that the Lord has ordained, only the goodness of God will be seen in their lives. They will dwell in the house of the Lord and they will sing of his goodness for the rest of their days in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we just leave them up to you one by one, oh God. We just destroy the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy the desires of Satan, the desires of the enemy over the lives of our children. We come against the lies of the enemy. We come against every arrow of the enemy. Establish our children in righteousness, oh God. Let them be far from oppression and from terror in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no evil come near them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we lift up our children one by one. We say, Lord God, your hand will be upon them. Your spirit will be in them in the name of Jesus Christ. And your glory will cover them by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Reka shegede boko zoko roko zoko to. Man de 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 de. Raka sekete boko zoko to liya ba ba ba. Lord, our children will serve you. They will serve you in peace and quietness in the name of Jesus Christ. Reka shegede boko zoko to. Man de 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 de. Raka shegete boko zoko to. You said you will save our children from afar and our seed from the land of their captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall return and be quiet and serve you. They will serve you and none will make them afraid and nothing will trouble them in the name of Jesus Christ. Reka shegete boko zoko to di yaba baba. Reke le boko zoko roko zoko to. Man de 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 de. Raka seke le boko zoko roko zeke te. Maka la baba 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 baba. Raka seke te boko zoko rika tabaka jege te. Male baba 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 baba. Reke le boko zoko roko zoko to. Thank you, O God Almighty. Thank you, O God Almighty, because our children will shine as stars in the name of Jesus Christ. Reke de 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 de. Raka soko roko zoko to ba 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 ba. Mando roko sheke de de de. Raka seke de boko zoko roko zoko to. Raka shende de boko zoko roko zoko to. Ma de 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 de. Raga la ba ka seke de boko sheke de. We declare boldly, O God that you will teach our children to number their days and they will gain a heart of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now I want us to ask for all round beauty over our children. We are going to ask for the beauty of the Lord to be upon them. The beauty of Jehovah to be upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. We are going to ask for that beauty to be upon our children, to be upon everything that concerns them. I want you to begin to cry and say, Lord, cover my children with your beauty. 
Cover them with your glory, O God. Let your beauty be upon my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we cry out this morning, O God. We say, let your beauty be upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your beauty be upon my children, O God Almighty. Father, beautify them, O God. Beautify them from heaven, O God. Beautify every area of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beautify my children, O God Almighty. Let the aroma of grace be upon them. Let the beauty of heaven be upon them. Let the beauty of heaven be upon my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Cover them, O oh God Almighty, with royal robes that they do not deserve, O oh God. Cover our children with royal robes that they do not deserve, O oh God. Father, Lord, your word says the Lord shall help them and deliver them. Father, deliver them, O oh God, from everything that brings ugliness and everything that makes them repulsive to you. My Lord and my God, let your beauty and your love be upon our children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Let your beauty be upon our children, oh God. Father, one by one, clothe them with your beauty. Clothe them with your grace. Clothe them with your power. Lord God Almighty, clothe them with your kind of love, oh God Almighty. Let our children love the things that you love and hate the things that you hate, oh God. Not as the world says, oh God, but as your word says in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, cause my children to love the things that you love and to hate the things that you hate in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O oh God Almighty. Raka shegelebo zoko roko zoko to. Mandelebo zoko rikata baba. Mando roko zoko rikata baba baba baba. Regelebo zoko rikata baba baba baba. Mando roko zoko roko zoko to. Makale baba 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 baba. Raka shegelebo ko zoko rikata. Henga na baka shegelebo ko zoko roko zekete. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Oh. We have one minute left. Please, let's go to Psalm 34, Psalm 34, verse 11. <clears throat> we are going to speak with our children. We hear the voice of the Lord. It says, come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. We are going to say, Lord, let our children hear you. Unmute yourself for this last minute and just scratch and say, Lord, our children will hear you. And our children will hear you. And in jesus name we have prayed <clears throat> before we go we are going to agree that our children will not hear the voice of the enemy they will not hear the voice of the wicked. They will not hear the voice of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ, but they will hear the voice of the Lord. Not only that, they will listen, they will respond to the Lord, and the Lord himself will teach them. We've been declaring that our children will be taught of the Lord and grace will be their peace. So I just want us to admit and agree that no strange voice would our children hear. They will not hear any strange voice in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus name. And lastly, as we go, let's just 
that the Lord himself is the one watching over our children and they're covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you, oh God. Thank you for our children, oh God. We cover them in the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we declare, oh God, that you'll do much more than we have asked this morning. The Bible says you do much more than we can think or ask you. Have your way in their lives, oh God, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Have a wonderful week, everyone. God bless you. Please, let's invite other parents. Let's let each one bring one next week in Jesus' name. Amen.